Welcome, Cinema Pals. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Courtney Scott Wright. Hello, hello. And Andrew Flash Gordon. Hello there. We are continuing on with Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 3. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut-down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykawai, or become a member of this channel so you'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you'll need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you 3, 2, 1 countdown sync. And it'll be like you're watching it with three of your favorite Cinepals from the internet. If you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. I am redeemed. You are Mandalorian again. All right. Oh, that's what I was waiting for. Yeah. I was like, he's got to bring something, right? Why would she keep that to herself? Sure, I'll come back and we'll find out. Where's his ship? Nah, it's probably never coming back. Where's his ship, though? Uh, I think it's on back where bo was staying. You will forever have my gratitude. I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that oh, helmet right. isn't coming off again. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Get us back there and I'll reinforce from the N1. Can you evade them? Our shields aren't gonna hold. I need you to back them off. Yeah, getting a little New Hope action. Yeah, that's what I was feeling too. Their scepters are a lot tougher than TIE Fighters. Are you still up for the transfer? I don't see any other choice. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know what that means. I know what time it is. <laughs> it's go time. Whoa. Oh. That is awesome. Ooh, that was so cool. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Nice. Whoa. Thanks for the backup. Two more to go. I was gonna say, you're all clear, kid. Ah. Ooh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Most impressive. Hang on. I'm seeing something on the scope. Oh! No. They blew up her castle? Oh, oh no. No, her home! Yo, that's crazy. Wow. You knew how something bad had to happen, though. Yeah, they were too. They came like, out unscathed. Nothing bombed my home. Oh, now she wants payback. Uh, uh yeah. Oh, oh my Ooh. god. Whoa! What? That's a lot of ships for an Imperial warlord. I'm sending jump coordinates. To where? Someplace they won't find us. Wow. Damn. That's an opening. Oh, that was the That's beginning. an opening. Yeah, seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was intense. Wow. When I was young, I lost my mother. Her heart gave out. Thanks to the groundbreaking work of the Kaminoans, we know that cloning can duplicate an individual from a single genetic strand. Mm. Mm -mm. My work explored was the hopes of combining multiple strands to create replicas that incorporated the best genetic attributes of both donors. That's yeah, he's making a good sketchy. case. Yeah. No, but he's making a good case. I rejected the formula almost immediately. I love how he but used his mother. Must be wonderful now. Exactly. <laughs> Appealing to their emotional sensibilities. Mm -hmm. It's got episode two flashbacks. Mm-hmm. Me too. Amnesty Officer M34. 
Amnesty scientist, L-52. Welcome to Amnesty Housing. This is G-68. Hmm. Quatervania, right? It, never mind. It, 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 does, mean, it, it does, does look, like, look it does like, look like her. I didn't expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. Thanks to the rehabilitation program, I can contribute to the New Republic. Just like you. He said the mind flare. Wasn't that Stranger Things? <laughs> Have you taken in the sights on Coruscant, Doctor? I, I haven't had the time. I'd be happy to show you around when you do. No, thanks. Don't open the box! Oh! oh. <laughs> Yellow biscuits. That's like cool. And the supply of them. Dude, it was gonna be a heart attack with that reaction. I thought a gas was gonna like. <laughs> Me too. Like, I was like, there was a droid somewhere, a <laughs> sniper. All these people working together to make something better makes me feel rather insignificant. Wow, this music is giving me eyes. Following orders blindly is how we got in trouble in the first place. The New Republic is trying their best, but they're struggling. There are lots of capable people who want to help. Something sus. You understand what I'm saying? No. You have not been rehabilitated. You are the imposter. <laughs> Thought I heard Gurus hunt a couple times. I wonder what he's actually eating. Yeah, I want to know because no, they are not like even remotely like eating like it's a real popsicle. Please refrain from physical I'm, contact I'm so with Ume. sorry. Uh, Rude. She's just trying to loosen him up a little. <laughs> no littering. Uh, sorry. Let me buy you a photon fizzle. Oh. Photon fizzle. That sounds good. I know it's important, and in the hands of the New Republic, it can actually be used for good. I just need to prove it. What do you need? Well, not much to get started. Um, some supplies. You just arrived. I mean... We can get you a mobile lab station. But it would require going outside our designated perimeter. Don't listen to her. If they found out, we'd both be sent back to the Reintegration Institute. I've done a lot of things I'm ashamed of. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. Something feels super sus. Everything about her is. The mobile lab station? Let's go get it. Tomorrow night? Who's she trying to bring back? Jeez, be less obvious. <laughs> Damn, I wasn't expecting all that. <laughs> that was cool though. No turning back now. Where are we going? The disposal yards, the inventory you're cataloging. What? Imperial ships all have mobile lab stations, right? Mm -mm. But they're Imperial. Well, not anymore. Now they're just junk. Could we slip in, grab what you need, and we're back at Amnesty Housing before you know it. Like how they're going over the plan on the way there. Right? <laughs> Be cool, be cool. Chickens, please. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. Oh, boy. Nice, Doc. Is she going to disconnect the train? Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Um, we're gonna jump. What? <laughs> I'm like that. That was pretty that was clear. A, did Did he need to say that? Would have been like, is it? No. Smooth. All right, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> We're gonna at that speed. The it's not the speed. It's just she wasn't looking at 
the thing that they were jumping to. She was looking that way. <laughs> well, I guess she'd been here a bunch of times, so she would know. Yeah. So that's why you can trust she her. She timed it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, is that a Star Destroyer? Yeah. It looks like it. Yep, Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer. <laughs> I said it right. <laughs> no, you did. I'm just messing with you. I thought he was going to say that line. Like, is it the end of the train? Is this a Star Destroyer? Yo, I think we're just with him in the rest of the episode. I'm like, can uh, we go back to Grogu and Kaboka? No, I, I don't. I don't think that's what's happening. I think this is it. This is we're just with them. And like we gave you the explosive opening. Yeah. Now you're stuck with yeah, these. Yeah, you just gotta roll with it. Yeah, you just gotta roll with it. Ships are all inoperable. No need to guard them. Unless there's people that knows all the codes. You are being tempted by the devil, and you can't see it. This I'm like, she's amazing. definitely like Eve to his Adam, yeah, but and she he gave, doesn't even see it. But she gave him biscuits, so it's okay. <laughs> biscuits are the apple. <laughs> you got the fruit of knowledge. Sir, uh, L52, what made you go with her? Well, it, she had biscuits. Mm. That's, that it, sounds compelling. Well, his, 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 oh, yeah, I know. well his, his whole thing is helping the New Republic, in his mind. That's yeah. just a Yeah, yeah, thing. no, of course. Uh-oh. Uh. What was that? Just the ship settling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep watch just in case. Mm -hmm. I think it's those other guys we saw at the table. I guess this dude in science, whatever this stuff, the cloning is. How are you is, just going to bring back that Im Imperial luggage? I mean, it's small enough he could sneak it in. But it's like, for him, it's like Walter White to meth, you know? Y'all mm -hmm. gonna bust a move and asshole out of there. That's not good. Come on. It's about to go into the trash compactor. really do a good job showing you the scale of a Star Destroyer. Yeah. Yeah, no, they yeah. did. For not functional. They really did. You've never seen one just sitting idle. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. What were you thinking? It was biscuits, people. Mr. Scientist, L-52, raise your hands. You are under arrest. Uh, uh. Well, she's not under no. arrest? No. She was baiting him. <gasps> I didn't see it coming. What? It was wow, all, it was, was all a test. Yeah, that's what I think it was. It was just to weed him out. I was wondering if that was the case. Yeah. But it, I like. But she still got everything she needed. Yeah. What did she tell you? We understand that the adjustment can be difficult. No, no, no. I, I think there's been a mistake. Well, I wasn't trying to help you. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to overcome. Oh, is this like shock therapy? Oh, yeah, lobotomy. I just wanted to help. She sent me up. Please. Never trust an Imperial officer. Never trust someone who gives you biscuits. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've done the right thing. Thanks. I almost thought for a sec that was... This should offer him some relief. Do you mind if I stay? Mm. She's gonna do something. I, uh... Oh. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no! She's frying his brain! That's messed up. Wow. 
Wow. This is how we have survived in exile. I'm familiar. It's a secret location, and you are my guest. They still live by the old ways. Yes. She hasn't taken off her mask since going in that water. Mm -mm. Of course. She's been redeemed then. Yeah, but she didn't get her little sample of the, of the special water. Oh, then it never happened. Mm. I'm curious how the conversation with the armor is gonna go between her, a bow and her. Come no further. You are an apostate, Dinjarin. I have been to the mines of Mandalore. The planet is cursed. These are lies meant to keep us in exile. How do we know that it is not you who is lying? Take my sample. He speaks the truth. I was witness. Why should we believe you? <laughs> I am bo of Clan Kree's. We have been to the living waters. We have proof. I bring proof. <laughs> He's like, I didn't get in. We shall see. This is where it's going to end, isn't it? Jinjarin claims to have bathed in the living waters. Is this true? It is. I have proof. What if the dude next to him was like, oh, wait, whoop. <laughs> proof is gone. Maybe she'll tell them she saw the monosaurus. He fell into the depths and I pulled him out. Whoa. Mm. These are indeed the living waters. Dinjarin, you are redeemed. This is the way. This, this is, is the, the way. way. And Bo-Katan Kreez. Huh? Mm-hmm. Did you bathe in the waters? I did. And have you removed your helmet since? Nope. I have not. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors once did. You may leave any time you wish. That's a good deal. You are one of us. <laughs> Welcome, Bo-Katan of Clan Kreese. Her home's blown up anyway. Welcome to the Masons. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't plan on that. Well, 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 well. How'd y'all feel? About well, that? my takeaway from this episode is, don't trust anybody with biscuits don't. that bite into like a Kit Kat bar. I actually enjoyed it. You know what? We got that amazing explosive opening that did such a great job on the aerial shots, from the cinematography to the actual battle was really riveting and fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, just from the the sequences of the flying around and the shooting and the camera angles, just such a cool battle and such an explosive way to start the episode. I loved it. And then we got into a totally different part. It went somewhere that I wasn't expecting, but you know what? On Corazon. I like the the whole world building because did I say that right? Oh, <laughs> it was so close. It's okay. It's okay. How are you, I, are you supposed to say it, Court? No, 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 no. We're gonna Cor move on. We're Coruscant. Move on. Coruscant. There it is. There it is. Okay. There it is. Sorry. No, he's a perfectionist. He wants uh, to get it yeah, right. No, I know. Coruscant. I was I was doing my Liam Neeson Qui Gon Jinn impersonation, but it definitely took a turn to somewhere I wasn't expecting. But I did like a lot of the world, even though we did get to see on one, two, and three episodes. I did like a lot of the world building because we went to different locations and we saw. How, I mean, obviously we knew how big the place was, but going to different locations because mainly we were at the Jedi Temple, the Jedi Council, and uh, like Emperor Palpatine's or you know his office and stuff like that. So I like going to different locations and just seeing that kind of stuff and the whole rehabilitation with the New Republic. I found it kind of pretty interesting, but uh, it was definitely a slow burn episode for sure in the in-between, but I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Um, well, for me, it was, it was obviously like a setup for yeah. what is, I guess, the villain of this season. Um, who, I forgot the name of that character. The, the, the I've woman. completely forgot uh, her. Something Kane. Elia Kane. Elia Kane. Elia, that's right. Elia so Kane. I guess, was, yeah. I guess Elia is gonna be our villain in this particular. I just uh, season. wish I remembered her episode because I don't remember that call that she took. Uh, where she says, what do you need me to do? Mm. Like, that was the recap that we saw at the beginning. Oh, gotcha, I just okay. don't remember who she was talking to. Gotcha. So, um, yeah, so, at, yeah. coming off of Andor, um, I really, I know you didn't, but I really, really, really like Andor. In fact, as far as Disney Plus shows go, I think it might be my favorite. Mm. Uh, and as far as the Star Wars stuff goes, like, it was so strong in that department for me that it was just, like, really refreshing. So when we had this sharp deviation, this tonal shift, 
Like, it was a sharp tone shift because we had this, like, fun kind of very traditional Star Wars action sequence, and then it went towards the, I guess, Andor tone, and I just wasn't expecting it. Had I anticipated it, like, if I were to rewatch this episode, I think that tone shift would have bothered me less. It's just that, like, it really slowed down in that direction. I'm like, whoa, how long? Okay, so now I'm just, like, calculating, okay, how many minutes have we been on this? How long until we get back to Mandalorian and Grogu and all that stuff? And then I realized that's just not what this episode is, and I just need to accept that or I'm going to be upset. Well, yeah, it because it started off on such a high note. It, yeah. it dropped us in exactly where we left off. Because when we left Bo-Katan, like, she was ha- had just seen the Monosaurus, and he was unconscious, and she was literally waiting for it to see, like, what else is going to happen. Mm-hmm. So that energy from there and then going into the, the firefight, I actually feel like it was a little bit more and or energy than traditional Star Wars. Because yeah. usually there's comedy or jokes and, you know, mm-hmm. like some sort of like, oh, here it is. You know what I mean? Like there was none of that. It was complete seriousness. And it was just really all about the battle element and then the tricks that the pilots showing that they were both excellent pilots like that was really fun to watch Mm -hmm. and I was completely like absorbed into that until like the I completely forgot that we hadn't seen the title sequence Mm -hmm. so when it dropped back into the intrigue where we meet the scientists L52 where we meet what was her name? Elia Kane or G68, whatever her name was. It did drop. The energy just kind of like tanked. I felt bad for the guy, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I-, I felt a little bad for him because, yes, like you said, he clearly did think that he was doing something right. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, why couldn't you see that she was crazy? What? Well, why? I think why? He, he, did he, did he, you? He was, it's like Walter White being drawn to making meth. That's how I justified it. No, in my head. no, Walter White was still always in control. He's not. He's not. Yeah, he's not. This is what I'm saying. Like yeah. he, he is someone who is just literally. He more reminded me of a less uh, aggressive character, the guy in Andor who was the inspector. Okay. Who was the one who like was obsessed with the lady commander? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. reminded me of that, like this needy element that I just need to be of use somewhere. Okay. I appreciated the mm-hmm. story elements uh-huh. and like where that we don't know where we're going. Kind of like what you're saying, like we're setting her up for more. Yeah. I, my, I guess I'm reserving the right to um, pass judgment until I remember what her scene was before, mm-hmm. which I'm guessing was in season two because this is season three. All I was going to say was as far as like setting her up, The only thing that disappointed me was I feel like we all kind of knew that something was suspect about her from the word go. It's like the audience can see it and feel it like and he is just so oblivious to it. Either that's bad writing or it's just that he is just so wrapped up and absorbed in what he wants to do that he can't see that she is, you know, suspect. And like what would be cooler is if we didn't see that coming. Agreed. Because like when when she like turns up the shock thing, it's like that was sinister shit. But it w- I wasn't surprised at all. Right. That was the only thing that bothered me about that. But like. Yeah, she didn't mask anything. Yeah. When, Everything was completely obvious yeah. that you're clearly steering him in a wrong direction. Yeah. The only thing I was not expecting was the misdirect when she came out and turns out to be the one yeah. that turned I, him in. I, I was suspecting it. I just um, didn't know for sure if that was what we were going to get. But we did a nice little thing where we saw her in shadow. I don't know if you guys saw that shot when they were in the yeah. lab. So you yeah. knew, like, that was your cue that this is going to go real bad. Right. And it's her I, fault. I just kind of wish, in a way, that he didn't know it was her. Do you know what I mean? If she told him to go and he ran out and was caught and she just wasn't there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she just wasn't there. He gets caught and he's, like, looking for her but doesn't know what to say. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then cut to her in that room. Yeah. It, it at least would have helped with her lack of masking because she was so just... Obvious. Boringly obvious. Like, mm. I, the cool thing about Moff Gideon is, though, even though you know he's the bad guy, like, you're intrigued by him. He's you want to know, like, what's he going to do next? Yeah. Like, eh, his energy is just, like, so clearly fluid that you just, you're just on the ride. Mm-hmm. With her, it's just like... Yep. The writing is on the wall. Right. She's clearly the bad guy. Yeah. She just needed a sign that says villain. Yeah. Despite that, though, I, I am still like on board for what's happening. And oh, yeah. I'm curious to see where that's going to go. Yeah. No, all I was going to say is, I mean, I feel like you guys did enjoy it. It's just more like coming immediately off that explosive yeah. opening that we yeah. got. That it's just was like brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then into the whole predictable territory. It's like, OK, this is good. We're actually getting some good stuff here, some intriguing stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's like coming right off of that. It's like. I did really like kind of like what you were saying about I liked seeing 
the new republic because that's something that we haven't really experienced yeah. that side of it yet. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We've seen we've seen Ray like seven, eight, and nine. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen uh, Andor, which is like the inner the middle part in between like Rebels and Rogue One mm -hmm. um, but we've never seen this immediately after Returns. like Return of the Jedi yeah. so it is pretty interesting because like I wasn't sure like with Moff Gideon and his still having like um, you know, like the stormtroopers that were with him. Yeah. I, I thought that they were still partially in power. I, I'm wondering if in any way it sort of ties it into Andor, even though these are two totally separate timelines, just because you're getting insight into what's going on in the inner workings of the New Republic. And we don't often get that. Usually yeah. we're like on the outskirts or sort of just looking at it from an aloof yeah. perspective. It'd be interesting and to see if we see like Mon Mothma somewhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd like that. But sure. I, even though we could kind of see the beats coming from a mile away, <laughs> it was kind of cool to just follow this character character and from his perspective in this sort of Blade Runner fashion and while I was frustrated by the tone by, by the speed just slowing down because I wasn't anticipating it I feel like if I watched it again I would appreciate it more I, I agree because yeah. almost like because I now I know I'm in for a sort of Blade Runner 2049 experience and this guy is sort of like trapped in this THX 1138 sort of world you guys ever see THX 1138 I still have George not seen it oh well, yeah, yeah. Robert Duvall yeah. Yeah. Well, okay well it's the same sort of vibe it's like he's he wants to get out of this and do something else but he's talking with this voice Voice, this this robot going is everything okay? Do you feel anything problem? Any problems? Any problems? And like that's straight out of Blade Runner twenty forty nine as well. And I think that a lot of us can identify with that sort of thing, even though we didn't go through what he went through. Of, yeah. of feeling like sort of trapped in a gig that you're just not, you know, enjoying anymore when you have like much stronger ambitions. And unfortunately for him, it cost him everything. You I know? did really like him. I liked his journey. I liked seeing him on the transport experiencing new things because it looked like he was breaking out of his shell. And I think that's what upset me so much is that I really liked him and I wanted to root for him. And you just yeah. know he's going to fall and fail miserably. Obviously, it was supposed to happen to him. <laughs> that was traject the trajectory of his arc. I just started to like him, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, you know, kind of like where he wasn't living anymore, too, like mm -hmm. just going about his life and being in the real rehabilitation thing. It kind of felt like Brooks a little to me in Shawshank Redemption, where he's just like, I'm not saying that this guy would rather be in prison or something like Brooks, but... For just him, felt, it was prison. Yeah, it yeah. was. Well, he, he was, wasn't living up to his intellect. Yeah, but you know, I, I, like, I mean, a he, geneticist. he did give us the best line of the, the season so far. It's the end of the train. I mean, come on, you got to give him you that, know. though. Yeah, <laughs> And it's the end of the episode. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, do subscribe, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is... Courtney Scott Wright. And... Andrew Flash Gordon. Peace out.